everybody welcome to my channel my name is Ellen and I talk about books and book related stuff first of all I want to say happy pan visibility day yes today is the 24th of May which mean it is the pan day of visibility or pan visibility day and I have left a link down in the description box so you can go and read more about what that means. I myself am Pan. However, I am not going to talk about that in this video. I just thought it would be a nice little introduction because I am going to take part in the Queer Lit Readathon. I don't do a whole lot of readathons. However, I do want to read more queer books, more diverse books, and I thought there would be a golden opportunity for me to both do a readathon and read more queer books. I have looked at their bingo sheet and picked out some books I thought might fit. I am not going to present these books in the order that I will read them. I have looked at their bingo sheet, as I said, and I will kind of present them in a sort of a bingo sheet order, even though it's very scattered on the sheet, my books. And I am going to start on the top left and then go down and then move right uh, up and right and go down again. So the first book is a backlist title and I am thinking of reading 24 hours by Tristina Wright. I originally bought this book shortly after it came out in October 2017 as a birthday gift to myself because I have a birthday at the end of October. And I was under the impression that they would, this would have a uh, main character that would be own voices pansexual or an uns own voices pan. Turns out that was not the case, so I haven't really gotten around to read it yet, but I am hoping to get around to read it this time or at least this summer if I don't manage to read it during the readathon, I hope to read it later on. I have heard it described as a queer sort of firefly, and I love the Firefly series, which is a science fiction TV series. And if it's anything similar to that, I think it would be quite cool to read anyway, even though it's not pan. So, Looking forward to reading this and I'm really, really curious about it. For The Nun coming out, I have a book that I am already reading. So I'm hoping to finish Kroppen är en murder, written by Kitty Bing. I started this a while ago and I have been putting little sticky notes in it because I am going to write a blog post about it because I know the author. The author used to sing in the same choir as I did. She sings in the choir still, I don't. It's an LGBTQ plus choir. Uh, and I am not singing in that choir anymore because I don't have time. Anyway, so I am going to finish this book and that is probably going to be one of the first thing I will do, I think. It is basically about a couple, a married couple, two women who are trying to get a kid. The next book is for the bi or pan main character and I have ordered a book online with a pan main character, or at least it's supposed to be. And the author is Own Voices Pan as well, so I really want to read that. And it's called No A Major Picture, I think it's called. 
Um, but I'm not sure if I will get it in time with the whole coronavirus situation and stuff like that things are going a little bit slow especially with books in foreign languages and of course to me English is a foreign language however if I'm not getting that book I do have a backup I have autobiography written by Christina Lauren and I know this has a bisexual main character other than that, I don't really know a whole lot about it. Next book I have picked is for a graphic novel. And it's Nærmere kommer vi ikke. This is based on a young adult novel that I haven't read. Uh, written by Monika Steinholm and it's the same title of course and I don't really know a whole lot about this either uh, this graphic novel is illustrated by Anneli Furmark I think she's Swedish Monika Steinholm is Norwegian so it's originally written in Norwegian and I don't really know a whole lot about it other than it's LGBTQ+, and that is supposed to be good. I heard a lot of good things about it. And next up is poetry, and I am not going to read a whole poetry book, but I think I will read a few poems from this collection of poems by Gunvor Hofmo. She was identifying as lesbian, I think. I know at least that she had um, long-term relationships with uh, women, at least a couple of women. And that are the books that I'm hoping to read. I know it's a little bit ambitious for me. I don't think I will be able to read that much. 1st of June, fortunately, is a public holiday in Norway, so I have some extra time there. But other than that, it is a regular work week and I do work and I know that I will going into the library at least a couple of days that week. But that's it for now and my next video will most probably be a reading vlog uh, from uh, this readathon. I am really looking forward to reading these books and I'm really, really looking forward to this readathon. And I'm also curious to see what others are going to read for this readathon. I will have a list of all the books that I'm talking about in the description box. So that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will comment, but only nice things, no hatred, please. And I also hope you will subscribe if you like my videos. And that's it. I will see you in my next video. Bye!